and instructions from Wiz, I need to apologize profusely and humbly for the time lapse between the last vid blog and this one. We've been very, very busy. I feel like Queen, which one is Queen Victoria? You used to call herself We? Yes. Or Elizabeth? We. Okay, it's only fitting. We've been very, very busy with the shows and the traveling and the working hard and the taking time for myself. These days are very selfish about my time. So when body tired, I rest in. All right. So I apologize though. And I need to also thank the great fan base, my, my, my friends, my fans, my family. Now, not all fan is friend, eh? And not all friend is fan. A matter of fact, I try my best not to mix the two because we have some fucking freaks out there. <laughs> that will be ignored until such time. However, to those that have given me their time, their energy, their money, because money is an energy, to come to the shows and give me an air, a hearing. Whether or not you like me, because a lot of people come in. We have some virgins. They call themselves virgins. We have some virgins that come in and they're in shock. One man actually told me um, he didn't know I was intelligent. Really? Wow. So, to those of you that have made the effort to come and see me live, I thank you. Straight and take whiz. The formality is over. We could start to talk about last Monday the 23rd. I don't know when this video is going to come out because Wiz needs to edit quickly. But I find nobody here talking about Wednesday, Monday the 23rd. Nobody. They talked about it. We've discussed it for a, a day, the Tuesday the 24th, Wednesday the 25th. And by Thursday, because of the other fuckery that emerged, it was over. But I want to start the balancing day. Because Monday the 23rd must never ever be repeated. Monday the 23rd of March 2015. I get out my bed to go to work. Let me refresh all your fucking memory. Get out my bed normal, you know. At the appropriate time to get to work. And I'm coming out of the east that particular day. And I meet a traffic jam by Hugh Wood at Law School. Now normally... You know me traffic jam there at half past five, quarter to six. I never reach Gordon Street, 6.30, 6.45. When I reach Q-Rep, Q-Rep, by the Royal Castle to my left, it was quarter to seven. And I inching up, 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 inching up. I'm telling myself, Bryce, something wrong. And people messaging me. So by the time I talk to Trumpet, because he's already in studio, God bless him. Trumpet coming from Picton. He done reached Cambridge Road and I don't listen to radio um, in my, any of my vehicles. I don't I do listen to radio, I will admit. So me and know who on or what on. Trumpet message me and say, best you turn back, the police have a roadblock. So I am telling myself, well, one roadblock, where this roadblock could possibly be, that it had all this jam. So I say, well, maybe it by Grand Bazaar or on the bus route. Or... You cannot tell me that at every major intersection before 7 o'clock in the morning, on a Monday morning, the week of month end that the police strategically placed roadblocks. Even, even my friends in the heart of Port of Spain, inches or meters away from the lighthouse, entry into Port of Spain, entry for thousands, hundreds of thousands, on a Monday morning, month end week, you have police. Searching people bag. Now, which side we put on the video footage? Show me quick. The side we go in? All right. Police searching bag. Police popping hood of your vehicle. 
Police asking you to open your vehicle. Police searching your bag without warrant and dotish, stupid, ignorant, uneducated Trinidadians, ignorant of the law, allowing the police to open their hood and open their bag. I wish me to bounce up that fucking roadblock. Because as I said, friends, by the time I reach QREP, I turn back. I take the bus route right back and make a turn by Hilo, St. Augustine, because I wasn't going through that. I see the madness and tell myself, but Price, what is this? They go forgive me? Because there was no way in hell I would reach the work. I done reach to work later already. It have late for me and later. I ain't reach to work later. I reach to work late. A consistent. When I see the level of traffic coming down the road, even getting back into St. Augustine was a task. And then I get home because I tried to tell myself, I say for the price, they had some great murder. There was a Mexican massacre on the foreshore because, of course, well, there are helicopters and small aircraft up and down. We leave all the drones. Drones up and down. And I am telling myself something is very, very wrong. All right. So I get home and between all the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. This is an island-wide dragnet. An island-wide set of roadblocks, including Tobago. To Tobago. We said that already? Tobago. How is it possible to have traffic in Tobago? I say, Price, what is this I really seeing? So I wait on the news. The 7 o'clock news, the 7 p.m. news, where the executive of the police service distanced itself from all activity, all action. Hell, that morning. So you mean to tell me, Jean Child, that the executive of the police service don't know what the police service doing? So the, who the fuck is running the police service? Because the Minister of National Security didn't know. The commissioner of police and the hundred assistant commissioners didn't know. So yes, WCT, WPC, Tots and ass running. The police service, somebody balls, have on a badge. You mean to tell me every single police officer on WhatsApp get a message, hey, we assembling in the morning, dog. Where you put on your uniform and come out. That, that's what went on? No, I, I tried to understand. And how it, it was instant message, MSA, wait, wait, was Facebook message? The police service on Facebook. So they put out a message saying, hey, in the morning, don't tell the, don't tell the commissioner, you know, in the morning, we're going to harass the population. Because contrary to what all you would like to believe, there are citizens that are supporting the police action, eh? That not realizing how sinister this entire operation is. Because the police had with balls as a country in a vice grip. Let me help them out. The Nambi Pambis that living in La La Land and not Trinidad. Normal petty thief bandit. The ones that selling their $400 block of weed. And the $800 block of brick of coke. That in love with the cocoa was on boat ride the Sunday night before. Right? And when they come home, they had to clean the Jordan. So them wasn't out there in the traffic. Small petty thief and drug dealer. Dobie. In Monday morning traffic, 6 o'clock. Between 6 and 9, they're fucking sleeping. So what all you do is essentially re-establish mistrust in the police service. Because it's normal, average population. All you squeeze. For what? For more money, are you going to get it? No, this is an election year. You're just getting after election, not before. Common sense will teach you that. And then again, all you're paying all yourself because at the end of the day, police and road boy is friend. Talk about how much money you're making on the side. So when you're saying no, what the police do is essentially show with their hand. You'll have the ability to shut down certain areas when needs be. The police can mobilize. And so when crime, is that an all-time high? All you know why. When prominent attorneys are assassinated in the heart of Port of Spain, 
And up to now, nobody knows who killed Dana Sita Hall. Because police don't arrest police. And me not afraid, you know. I me really fucking care. Because what are they going to do out my life? See, and take this do that now and again, and our friends in day. And better than that, the day I die will be the day my ancestors choose. I go with my sp spirit unblemished and happy. But not the day all you choose. Not the day you're choosing. This is a democracy. We live in Trinidad and Tobago. And we reach a sad, sad, sad past. When you can't even talk anymore about the boot that is on your back. Not all police bad. As with any pub public sector, not all police bad, not all nurses bad, not all doctors bad, but good lord, the fucking bad ones need to be weeded out. We have some good police that are young and earnest and want to work. They want to get in, they want to help, they want to clear up crime, they want to do all sorts of things. They have these grandiose ideas, but they are forced to accept mediocrity and wallow in the shadows because those on top and those in between Squeezing them like weeds. Look at we boy, we poor boy. Eh? It has some of them that good. They heart in the right place. It's just the proper training they need. Look, we poor boy, where you them bravi? You remember that burglary in Barakpo? Where the bandit and them with camera, these people robbing a casino or a, 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 a place, a, 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 what is, a bar, a certain establishment in Barakpo without masks. They rock out with the cock out. Them on TV, them is stars. We talking John Wayne here, yeah, you know, these is big, big, big outlaws. Poor little innocent Ravi, run up. Eh? So if we go in cowboy and Indian, here now, Ravi, run up to meet John Wayne, and he is he, what was he fella from Toy Story? Woody. He's a little... Cowboy from to Toy Story, when I meet John Wayne, because watch me, the bandit. He, Ravi is kicking, kicking, kicking the door, and he bang it, kick in the door on Ravi and offload it. It, rat, 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 rat. when Ravi looked for backup, the police woman that was behind Ravi suddenly remember she had to scratch the wave. She didn't know where she gone was. Ravi had no backup, no bulletproof vest, nothing. He need a medal if it's only for intent. To do his work. It's his only for enthusiasm and zeal and dedication. To collect them shot easy. Ravi, darling, he's my hero. For me, if it's only for your if only for your enthusiasm and your zeal, you need a badge. But I know why the story there, you know. Plenty of people might recognize it, but the police does really come after the bandits leave. I show you a shock as fucking shit. To kick down the door and realize the man that's still there. Somebody should have looked back and gone, Ravi! They're still inside, boy! And you would have get, you know, to safely walk back to the car and wait it out. But like rapid response, really working these days. They call you too soon. I wonder what network they're on because both networks, both of them fucking up. But they call, they, you, you get, the, you, 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 you really reach too fast. Yeah, we have good police. Yeah, we have bad police. And I don't expect a junior police officer to live comfortably and feed a family on $5,000 a month. Yes, it should be raised. I am all for it. But proper negotiations, squeezing the population is not going to give it to you because I ain't paying you. Wiz ain't paying you. Plenty of people in this room don't even live here and them ain't paying you neither. So the average population, the average Jane and John, is not the person you were supposed to squeeze that morning. You really wanted to squeeze the government, then the outriders for Kamala and Kamona should have fucking stayed in the bed. Let them wake up a morning and come downstairs and realize that they had nobody to fly the helicopter and guide your smiling ass off. That is what you should have really do. But do want to squeeze who have no control over your payroll. Five years ago, let me remind you because this country is remember verse and not chapter. Five years ago, when negotiations were going along the lines to increase police pay and all that was due. Remember that? And the PSA and the action that was taken? Right. And all you agree to take the chain up on the mama guy from Kamala, you agreed to $1,000 extra on your fucking pay. Now that you realize that Kamala and the partnership might be out, because the jury ain't coming with a verdict on this election, you're trying to squeeze them now? 
is you stupid? Because guess what? You ain't getting nothing now. You are rewarded after a win. Who does get a medal before the race? Help me now. No, I, I don't know. I, 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 who does get a medal before the race? Anybody that betting before the race, that is exactly what you're doing. You're taking a chance. You have to wait till the partnership come back. If they're coming back, or oh, start a panda to the rowley ship. What's the soul you on? Eh? So you decide to squeeze no? Squeeze who? To establish more mistrust in the government. The police really disgusting and incapable, or, or so we thought, because we greatest crime fighter is not a policeman, it's a woman on the evening news. Just before the evening. Pull up here and all in there for me, please. It is sad that this is our hope for crime. Sad. Sad, sad, this bitch in 3D glasses. Call my fucking name. Me dear you. Unlike others, I don't have no TV protocol. And me I really care. My dirty linen out for everybody. Me don't interfere with children either. Or get sexual kicks. Or for nothing. Call my name. All the police. Different and disgusting. Bordering on distasteful. Imagine we greatest, if that is we greatest crime fighter, we greatest bandit most wanted is a man that handicapped. You could say handicapped. Fuck differently able, because he a born so nothing happened to him. He just so had use of his legs. He in a wheelchair. He wheel his ass up to somebody's house. A matter of fact, he get dropped. So you supposed to arrest the man that dropped this gun toting criminal. You ain't had no legs, but you had the presence of mind to get in people's house and drag himself up on his bumsy shoot somebody dead and then drag himself back out and nobody in that house a light his counter fire. Government, come government, go crime, start crime. No, it does not matter. Whoever in power will survive. They will soon be out. It is we, the population, that have to determine how we live. What you allow will continue. You mean to tell me that nobody in this, that house, nobody, had the instinct. You can't tell me you're crippled by fear, no pun intended. This man, back to you, he is on his ass. He is in... There we go. He is inching out of the house, shooting people. And you a chop him, you a pelt some acetone, diesel, gas. Give me something else that would have light his ass afire. You know all the oil in the house? You had nothing. Disinfectant lights well. Black disinfectant and a lit match. Pelt a cigarette on him, something. You will run up and kick him behind the head. He is on the ground on his ass. And he had the temerity to kill somebody and drag he can't back out. And insult to injury the police. Yeah. The police could not find him. <laughs> if it wasn't so sad, it would be hilarious. The police could not find him. Time every reach. We have some good ones, but when they're good, they're good. And when they're bad, they're very bad. Horrible, they stink. As with any, any human being. But somehow or the other, Trinidad police, I don't know. I don't know how them girl and them just lie down next to police, you know. Long time my grandmother used to say the worst fucking thing. Army and police. Well, firemen always sleeping. God bless them. We have to talk about that, you know. Eh? You remember, we, we ain't talk about Rampasad. Next vid vlog, remind me. We have to talk about Rampasad, the fire chief who exposing himself. However, them girl and them pick up. With all kinds, you speak up with all kinds, all kinds. And in the last few weeks, the fuckery was eminent. This is the next police story we have here. Next police story. Um, show me the fight on the avenue. I'm gonna talk to my sister. <laughs> well, you see the shit? I didn't want to call your name because I feel you done embarrassed so much. Already, bring it in, Wins. Let me talk to she direct. And any other woman that's so foolish and removing God from the thoughts as to mash up car. You don't mash up car. Hear me and hear me well. You do not mash up car, truck, 
V any vehicle the man in is your stupid car could fix. You want to fuck up a man? You fuck him up, not the car. You know where he sleeps. You mash up your own hand. Let me tell you something. This girl, the front. I watched this video. When she pull off the number plate, the only thing was missing was the Wonder Woman lasso and the stars and stripes on your panty. You is not a superhero. Where the fuck you going? Who does pull off number plate? You scratch down the bonnet and you mash up the windscreen. Not a piece of footage of he. The man is inching out with her high locks and you stand up in front. I done. Girl, I watched that video and went and examined my own vagina because I know mine is flesh and bone. Who the fuck make your body girl? Car does kill you. You ever see a car lie, lie down in casualty? You put your body in front of a vehicle, the man that you think you love, because that is not love. Love needs a point to start, and you start love or any relationship by loving yourself. He ain't worth this shit. I talking to you, no man is. Up to now, we ain't know he face, nobody know he face, and worse yet, he's thinking on a woman. She don't go calm. Me feel he going and do she, she the same fucking thing. Karma is not a chutney ban. Bless you, Ravi B. It's coming soon to another avenue near you. But I want to tell you that the people that are wrong you are not your friends. They may your friends, girl. The people who are cheering you on and handing you a bottle to mash up a car, are they going to help you with the $55,000 for the fee to fix the car? The bill? Yeah, no. We know about car, eh? Adi, I'm talking to you. Adi, it could ever be $55,000 to fix our high locks. Huh? How much to fix our bonnet, Adam? No, I really want to know, TNT. Help me out. A number plate. Number plate? How much is a fucking number plate? I see a man the other day and the number plate is the cheapest thing I ever see. All he needed was a sharpie and a piece of cardboard. He write the fucking number TCD something on it and he put it on the car. A number plate is how much, Adam? $500 for a number plate. How much for a paint job on a bonnet? $2,500, you see. How much for a windscreen? Oh, forget that. Because he's a police. He ain't need to buy no windscreen. He could go them cut and pull off a whole windscreen off of them old high locks they have back up there since the summit. You mash up your hand. You see she scrape up her own hand. You know. Marvel Comics writing the script. A high locks that worth $55,000 for a paint job, a bonnet, and a windscreen. Who make this car Tony Stark? High locks is not Toyota. I do, I, where high locks from? $55,000, darling, if you pay any a cent of that. I tell you, Jane Chai, you is an ass. It have lesser, greater, lesser ways of wasting money that will have greater outcome. Revenge is a dish served coal. You answer to the code of woman. Woman, no one word. Wait, wait. Man does rush in, we does hesitate. You does wait. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know much man watching that video? They're studying you, you know. They're watching the car, the Hilux, and crying. So you ain't intend to ever have a next man. Because as a man, if I see that, you can't sit down in my fucking car. Right now, next man, you pick up both of all your traveling. Where you going? Them people that are wrong, you not your friends. If my 30-year-old self could talk to my 16-year-old self, my 16-year-old self will have to listen. I wish my 35-year-old self could talk to my 30-year-old self. As a matter of fact, I wish my 40-year-old self could talk to my 35-year-old self. And the one word I will eliminate is friend. Because in this instance, they didn't bring you back. They leave you to fuck out. If you go in and damage, you was to damage the passenger side and drag out the bitch. And let him come out to see if he were to defend. Or you wait. I'm not advocating violence, I'm advocating common sense. The next time, it's a two roads they could have taken. The next time, he call your phone, you would have just said, fuck you. Give him the Greta Garbo. Fuck you. And hang up with style and gusto. Or you tell him, eh, hey, what are you going to do? Long time. You're good? I hope. Pass me. Check me. I don't go now. You coming? All right, I'll wait then. You wait and you get him in. And then you go inbox me for the rest once that door lock. What craziness is this? I tell you, you don't stand up the girl, hold on to the bonnet of the car, you know? A moving vehicle, metal, steel, and glass. 
is coming at you and you holding on. Or somehow or the other, you is part of the Jackson 5. Where you going? I don't know. I, I watching we and wondering what the ass wrong with us. Because like everybody succumbing and everybody forgetting basic codes. Your basic instinct as human is survival. A baby does fight in the womb till it's birth. This is an election year. An election year where so much is afoot. We have a whole heap of nasty people that want to divide us along racial lines yet again. Not understanding that the people that divide us are benefiting. Politicians do not glass with we and neither do their finances. They finance because they get back. You know how much people want this partnership to stay because they're eating from the table. But you, me, and Dupree, we ain't going down that road, are we? You don't know what you're doing, you know. And as I always say, it is not about party. It is about country. Because the people in the party, them enjoying the country. Them having a time. Them having the fit. You know what you're doing at TNT? Wait, I feel like it. Bless. Go your way, Wiz. Oh, we promo in the next one. Yeah. You leaving the scene? Yeah, I might be seen. One word. Vanilla. <laughs>